G'day everyone, Ben here from BLA and I'm with Sean Burrows, our resident battery expert. And uh, we've just fitted a 12 volt, 75 amp hour battery to this boat, um, a 4.3 meter tinny, one of the most sold boats in Australia. And um, you know, one of the key things uh, about boats of this size is making sure you maximize your weight on board. And I guess the key thing, uh, the key first benefit of this battery is that it absolutely is so light, 9.7 kilos. The uh, deep cycle battery we've taken out of it was 21.8. Um, so, Sean, tell us about that. The weight advantage is, is just massive, isn't oh, it? Phenomenal, yeah. We, we've gone to less than half the weight of the original wet battery. Uh, so, yeah, the back certainly appreciated putting the new one in rather than taking the old one out. But, yeah, as you said, mate, with boats, it's so vital to save every kilo you can, and, and there's over 12 kilos of saving just by swapping a battery. Unreal. Now, um, if someone is looking at switching over, maybe they're like we've done this morning, running the deep cycle, you know, got a circuit breaker, um, in line. Um, is there anything that really needs to change when you go from a deep cycle to a lithium? Can you run the same wiring harness, for example? Yeah, look, the, the demands of the battery are still going to be the same, the same amps in, the same amps out. So your existing wiring can stay. Uh, the only thing you need is, is a new charger, which, uh, which yeah, we can obviously supply in the BLA Marine Performance branding, uh, yep. which is set up exactly for our lithium battery. Unreal. So I've noticed one of the key things um, about this series is it's Bluetooth connectivity and the ability to run an app on the phone. That's right, um, man, yep. Really takes the guessing out of it. Rather than relying on hope, you can see the data. Correct, yeah. So this will track to a percent exactly how your battery is travelling, whereas with your traditional lead acid system, you were relying on voltage, which the voltage will change up and down as the amp draw changes. So you were always kind of stabbing at where you were at. This will give you an exact indication as to how your battery is performing and how much longer you can fish for. Unreal. Okay. Other advantages, other benefits, obviously I went the 75 amp hour in this one, as opposed to a 50 or a 100. Tell us a bit about amp average and, and how the, I guess the person looking to fit a battery out suitable to their trolling motor would, would think about amp average. Absolutely, so traditionally with an AGM lead acid battery, you were doubling your capacity to get the usable amp hour. So, so a 100 amp AGM battery, you only ever wanted to use 50 of that. Whereas with a lithium, the entire capacity of the battery is available to you. It's a recommended 80% depth of discharge every, every day of the week. So our 75 amp here that we replaced uh, for the 100, that 100 was 50 usable. This one is actually 60, 65 usable um, comfortably, uh, but the whole 75 can be discharged and you're not gonna damage it. Absolute win. So make sure you go to bla.com.au, check out the lithium range, see if you can find something that's suitable for your boat.